Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Killing Sean Hilton, part 38 it is, I believe. So we are here at our base where we normally start. And uh, I think today we're going to head into downtown Nashville, see if we can hit maybe a restaurant or two, find some unique items. I uh, did add the uh, lakeside painting above my headboard there in the bedroom. If you guys happen to notice that. Uh, let's see how much trunk space we have here. I can't quite remember. Let's see here. Uh, 103. That's pretty good. So, all right. We might upgrade our truck while we're there. Um, it's doing okay. I think mechanically it's doing okay, but we might find something that's better there. So we might, we might upgrade it. So right now the engine's in the 27% condition and the hood's at 29. So that's not great. Everything else is looking pretty good. So if we find something that maybe needs a battery or something like that, we might be able to uh, swap it out. But uh, as it stands now, this'll do just fine. It's a little bit early in the morning. It's 4.30 in the morning. And I think we'll just eat as we go. Um, let me take a look here. I got bourbon on me. It looks like I'm carrying a little bit more than I need to. Got some 45 rounds. So let's go ahead and drop this off here. All right, let's head over here. Pretty sure that we, do we have enough room for any ammo? Let me see here. Here we go. Yeah, we got plenty of room. Okay, so let's drop some 45 ammo there. There we go. And we got some pickles and pepper. Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to put that up in the... We got that by doing a little bit of raiding last time. It's been a while since I played. Over a week at least. So, got to get caught back up here on her condiments and what goes where and all that sort of stuff. So, I think this is... Yeah, here we go. This is where our condiments go. Pickles, I want to definitely put those in the uh, freezer. I imagine they will eventually go bad, and tortilla chips probably go bad eventually too. It's just going to take a long time. But other than that, let's take the ketchup, the pepper. Uh, anything else? Is that it? I think that's it. A roasting pan. Do we have a roasting pan? Hold on. Let me, let me get these over here first. Okay, can't fit any more pepper in there apparently, so we'll put that over here. We see a roasting pan. Uh, I can't remember if we grabbed one already or not, though. No, we just got the one, so we finally found it. Okay, cool. So we can start doing some roasts. Oh, no, we have two. Never mind. Looks like we have two. That's all right. In case we have guests, in case we have a large number of people here, we'll be good to go. All right, so let me uh, give Sean here a smoke since he's a little anxious. Speed that along here. And then... Um, I think this is all VHS. Yeah, let's head downstairs and drop off the book and the magazine that we picked up. There we go. Now we have something down here. We got a couple books, magazine, newspaper. Throw that into the collection there. There we go. And I will probably put the soap over. Wait, there's some thread. I think we have sort of a. Try to remember. That's just a rifle area. Yeah, we'll probably put it over here. This is sort of like crafting materials so yeah we'll do that all right and then we have soap or something down here oh yeah we got soap right there i think we have it on the yeah so i'm just going to add this soap to that soap and it just put it on the ground i wanted to put it next to next to this one but uh, apparently not so i'm gonna have to pick them both up let me see if i can place both of them place all Well, let me do that. Did it do that? Well, I'm not sure what happened to the soap, but... Hmm. I'm not sure where it went. Oh, well. Not a big deal. So, I think what I'll do is here... I got the uh, military backpack. I'm probably just going to carry another one as a secondary. And I have an idea where I want to go. It's... I believe it's the most populated cell in Project Zomboid. <laughs> when it comes to total numbers of zombies, but it's sort of like the area along the river to the north. So I'll kind of show you where I think I want to go. So I think I kind of want to head like up in this general direction. I think there's some good, let me see here, restaurants, things like that right here. So I kind of want to head into this area. So that'll be our goal. Let's see here. What do I want to mark this as? There we go. Let's do red. Or right, we can do blue. OK. 
Okay, so we're going to head here. There we go. And we'll turn on our headlights. All right, let's go do some exploring. Things are really starting to grow up around this area, including in the garden. I know in the last uh, episode, I got a couple comments about uh, cleaning up my yard. At least one. At least one comment. Time to clean up my uh, garden, because it's getting a little bit overrun. What I think I'll do, probably do is harvest everything, let it get overrun, and then before the next time I want to plant, I'll just clear it all out then. Until then, it'll just be sort of a sort of overrun with all the uh, the vegetation. All right, now I'm not sure exactly what the best way to go is. I don't know if it's best to go this way or All right. Let's keep moving here. Move forward a little bit. Well, I do a stop here. Try to see. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's see which way we want to go. Kind of just want to go up one more road and Kind of take this one all the way down to the, all the way over to the river. I think this should pretty much, well, maybe I got to go up one more. It looks like there's a larger road up there. Look at these zombies are just hanging out on the, on the ground. That's a pretty nice looking vehicle. I'm kind of interested in that. Ain't going to lie. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's kill some zombies. A little bit of a zombie slaying here. I hear one breaking windows behind me, I think. Yeah, they're kind of coming out of the woodwork, but nothing we haven't handled before. There we go. I'm really interested in seeing how that vehicle looks. All right, time to take the fight to them, I think. All right, I think we got most of them. Well, let's head on over here. Let's see exactly what this is. I'm kind of curious to see what it's... What type of vehicle this is. It's a classic, whatever it is. A Land Cruiser Variant 2. Okay, it looks like it's in excellent shape. We are definitely taking this with us. Uh, yeah, we're upgrading. Okay, it's locked. So I'm probably going to have to break in and then uh, hot wire it and replace the window. So um, that's a prepper house. That might not be too bad to check out also. So maybe we'll do that if we can get in. I don't know if I should probably just let them beat the uh, beat the uh, barricades off. But that's going to take, take a really long time. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and, let's see here. And hopefully the, uh, hopefully there isn't a car alarm that goes off. Okay, draw any attention. Nope. Nope, here we go. Yes. Here comes the owner. He's probably got a key on him after, after I did that. After all that. <laughs> He's got a purple wallet. I don't see any keys laying around here. Normally, I'm pretty good at spotting those. Well, that alone was worth the little trip out this way, finding this land cruiser. It's going to have a lot of uh, good stuff. Okay, who who broke out the window? I can hear them. Oh, these are all barricaded up. Look at all these houses. Oh my gosh, they go on forever. Uh, we might want to mark this neighborhood. All right, let me... Uh, could hop in the car here. All right, got some ammo. Of course we do. All right, come on over here, buddy. He's kind of walking a really weird way. Oh, we got one here. That's that's one trying to get out. Or let me unlock the car and then hotwire it. Alright. Can I hotwire it? Oh, I'm not in the correct seat, that's why. 
And I keep having to deal with the zombies that keep wanting to come up here. There we go. And she's alive. All right, let's go ahead and unlock the trunk. And unlock the doors. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all. Okay. Go ahead and turn this off. Hop out. Why am I, why am I crouched? amazing where these zombies are all coming from. Look, they just come from miles and miles around. We got one coming from up here now. Alright, got you. Let's see what we got back here. Still hearing, I hear more zombies. I think what's happening is we're killing all these zombies in this area and the other ones are starting to kind of backfill into this area like they typically do. Just don't remember them doing it that quickly before. So let me make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. I guess I could always tow back the Dodge Ram and uh, use one of the... Yeah, we could do that. I think we should do that. Uh, it's got fuel in it. Let's, let's just tow it. Let's just tow this back once we clear out these zombies. Or we can always take this and go find another car then tow that one back too because this will be able to definitely have no problems towing. Okay, nothing left in the Dodge. Let me check the fuel situation on this one. I didn't really check that out at all. Oh, it's like perfect. All right, let me kill this one. Then we'll be on our way. Could have just left, but hey. All right, we'll be on our way. We're leaving the Dodge there. You know what, though? I am going to make a note here on the map real quick. Um, okay, let me see here. I'm going to put guns. Is that a gun symbol? Oh, it looks like a gun symbol. All right. Hopefully I know what that means. I'm guessing there's going to be guns, guns there. All right, well, we'll keep our eyes open for another nice vehicle to tow back. Maybe something a little bit fun. In the meantime, we'll try to keep this one in as nice a condition as possible. I know, easier said than done, right? Or promises. Zoom in here a little bit. Just sort of smooth things out a little bit. There we go. Cruise control at 30. Seems like a reasonable speed. All right. So what I want to do here is check my map, make sure I'm still on track. So take over here and then kind of just, yep. All right. So much for cruise control. I can see now I'm going to have to definitely sort of snake my way through this area. Oh, I don't know how I got blood on the back of the back of the Land Cruiser, but somehow we did. Oh yeah, this is nice. I am digging it. I am digging this. Here's a little... Oh, we get to get a fire truck. Doesn't look like it's in too bad a condition. There's somebody with a shotgun. Looks like maybe a trooper of some kind. Sorry. Bumped the mic there. Got a new desk. Relocated the mic a little bit, so I'm still trying to get used to dimensions around here. I 
Bunch of construction workers. Bunch of burnt out houses. Wow. That neighborhood went up pretty good. Okay, I think we're going to end up at a, like a stoplight or a, a major intersection here. And I think this is where we turn. I believe this is where we turn here. Should take us all the way over. Look at how the ivy's going all over that window there. Just got to love the way things change. I kind of want to go check out the military base. It's on the complete opposite side of the map, like outside of Louisville. But I'm a little worried that there's going to be so many saplings that we can't even drive back there now. So we're just going to have to walk. A little worried about that. Is this a restaurant? I can't tell what that is. Is that a restaurant? Not sure. I'm not sure about that. Art supply. The butchers. Shaken and stirred. This might not be a bad place to check out. Plus we might get ourselves another dodge. Let's check this out. Let's check this place out. Let's do a little bit of zombie killing here. Zombie whacking. Almost got grabbed there. If I was stuck in the tax and accounting place, I'd be dying to get out too. Now oh, there's somebody with a spear in their stomach. Just notice that. Let's head down here. Starting to really thin the herd out here a little bit. All right, let's circle back around. Kind of getting in an area that I wasn't sure if there were zombies going to be sneaking up behind me. There we go. We got most of them. Uh oh. Sous chef, maybe. All right, just a few left. Here, one behind us. Directional headphones definitely help. Or a good set of headphones, actually. Not to be directional, but good set. All right, well, let's check these these little areas, or these little stores out. I wasn't planning on coming down here, but uh, this looks like there's quite a few like specialty stores that might have some interesting items inside, so definitely worth checking out. And we still got some stragglers coming through. They're kind of just annoying because you can't really start looting until you know that they're pretty much done. Okay, there we go. I want to check out this new... Uh, ooh, that looks nice. I might go for the car, actually. I'm going to here and check out the car. These all look really nice, like they're in great condition. So we might have our pick up a litter here in a second. Let's take a look here. What have we got? Hmm, that's not great. It's a Chevelle. Yeah. We already have one. Right, now that I see the broken windshield, they're not that great, but... What we got down here? Uh, a bloody mess of a car is what that is. And not that great a shape. All right, let's head on up here to the 
truck. We're going to grab something to eat inside one of these buildings too. This one looks pretty nice. It's okay. It's okay. We could probably use this to um, replace the mirror or replace the window though. So let's see if we can go ahead and do that real quick while we're at it. It's only noon, so we're in pretty good shape. So we busted out the, um, what was it, the front right, I believe. Uh, do I not have the uh, car keys required? Oh. Well, how about if I just bust it? I guess I need to access it, right? So let's bust out the correct window. Hmm. Well, let me do it. All right, I wonder if I can do it from this menu right here. I don't see any car keys lying around here either. All right, I should be able to smash the uh, left front window. There it is. Okay. Let's unlock those doors. Now we should be good to go. A lot of back and forth here. Okay. Now we should be able to uninstall it. Hopefully we get it the first time. Big bucks, no whammies. And stop. Ah, failure. Okay. Try again. Yay, success. We got ourselves a window. All right, let's go throw it in our vehicle. These should be similar. I think, what are they? Heavy duties? So we should be good. Oh my gosh. I'm being harassed by a beret wearing zombie. All right, I don't want to drift too far away. Oh, I'm using the, I just realized I'm using the screwdriver. All right, there we go. <laughs> Is my screwdriver stuck in them? Is that what happened right there? No, I still have the screwdriver. Okay, good. Let's put the machete back down here. There we go. All right, wonderful. And you know what? We'll go ahead and put this down here as a backup because it just uh, helped us out right there a little bit. Another one? All right, you. Gosh, they are just being such pests. Just can't get anything done around here. Even the simplest tasks. Yep, we got the window. Let's replace it. Make me feel better. Heavy load. Yeah, it's because I'm carrying the window. Failure. Well, at least we're skilling up every time we fail. It damages it a little bit, but at least we're skilling up. This should go up from, yeah, 79 to 81. Okay, good. So we now have our window back. All right, where are you at? And I'm carrying the the wrong tool again. I hear you. Okay, now I see you. All right, let's go get ourselves a little bit of coffee. Or a smoke, actually. We can do that real quick. While I walk. Um, that's a fashion store. This is a... Let's try in here. Have a butcher's. I don't know what that means. Okay, so this is, uh, I wonder if they're gonna have anything. Okay, it looks like they do have beef jerky. We can eat that. Let's eat all that. There we go. Helps out a little bit with the hunger. More beef jerky? Oh, wonderful. There we go. I think I'll just go ahead and loot all of this. Yeah, this is pretty good. Beef jerky doesn't go bad for a really, really, really long time. What do we have here? More beef jerky. Thought I was missing it. Five beef jerkies? Oh, wow. Kind of hit the mother load when it comes to this right here. I wonder if you can use beef jerky in stir fry or not. 
Everything else is probably going to be rotten. I bet you. Yeah. Oysters. Do you want to eat some of that? Seems like a death sentence right there. Some shrimp. Should have came here first. And uh, got all this stuff for the... Uh, yeah. Should have came here first and got all this stuff for the freezer. That would have been wonderful. Alright. This guy's annoying me. So let's... Uh, Let's handle them real quick. Let's see if we can find any. Oh, there's my bucket I need for Deadly Flare. Fortunately, I don't think it's uh, cross-game compatible. Paper bag. She got anything in there? No. Let's head on back here a little bit. Maybe get a drink. Should be full. Yeah, satiated. Okay. Let's get this guy before he starts banging his head. Everything's just going to be so rotten. All right. I like this table. Kind of reminds me of a desk a little bit. Let's go fill that up and get ourselves a drink. Oh, I washed my clothes yesterday, but that didn't last very long. All right, not seeing much in here. Guess we can check the stock room. Let's be ready. Oh, nope, never mind. It's a bathroom. All right, let's head on out of here. I was hoping for some for some spices, but the beef jerky was a nice treat. I wonder if we can actually. I'm sure probably the uh, Hydrocraft mod probably has a. Is there probably? Yeah, those are apartments up there. Might not be the worst place to uh, live because you only have one. You only have one door to defend, or two. I, mean, I guess you have two. Technically. Wait, no, just one. So as long as you can protect this door, might be good. I don't know how it is at the back though. Maybe there's like emergency exits or something. All right. Well, we know what we're gonna find here. Alcohol in copious amounts of alcohol. Pickles. All right. Yeah, we'll take that and some sodas. Sure, I'll drink uh, drink one of those. Definitely helps with uh, thirst and unhappiness. Some zombies have discovered us. Oh, the jukebox. Should I take that back? I kind of think I should take the jukebox back. It would be really cool if it actually would work once you hooked it up to a generator. Is that a biker? Is that a leather jacket? Yeah, I was hoping for some leather pants, but... Uh, Good luck. Okay, let's take care of this one right here. Hopefully just one. Maybe a biker bar? Is this going to be where the top shelf stuff is? No, nah, not really. We have plenty of all these items, so I'm going to kind of let that go for now. Let's see what it would take to pick this up real quick. 20? Yeah, let's take it. We'll figure out a place for it. I'm going to check behind the counter here. Oh, I like that. I like that bush too. Or that shrub or whatever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I too too heavy to run? All right. Let's fight these guys real quick. There's only three of them. Take that four. Swinging slow, but house key. All right, we'll put it on there. Don't, not that I need it, but another house key. All right, go deal with this guy real quick. Otherwise, he'll just he'll follow us out to the car. Okay, let's drop the uh, little fun items we got here. The little shrub and the jukebox. Just put it in our. In our new vehicle over here. Some more. Yeah, they're kind of just lurking over there, aren't they? And there's a nice ranger car there, too. That might be worth grabbing. If we decide to do a burn, that might be something worth having for sure. So, let me go ahead and drop. Let's see here. Uh, let's just drop the can on the ground. And let's see here. Hold these jukebox. Put that over here. Oops. 
we won't put that there. We won't put it in. There we go. And a large plant. There we go. I thought I was carrying the backpack. What happened to the backpack? Did I drop it somewhere? I must have dropped it somewhere. I mean, we have like a million of them, but... Hmm. Where did I drop that? Military boots, hiking bag. Oh, I could take the hiking bag. At least. There we go. Alright, well. At least we got a bag back. I don't think it's... Oh, here it is. Is this... Is this the one I'm wearing? Okay. No, yeah, I had it in my inventory the whole time. Well, now we have a hiking bag as well. So, throw that hiking bag back there. And, uh... Okay, crisis averted right there. All right, let's see what else we got here. What is Suki's? What is this place? It looks like a restaurant. Let's see if we can find some spices. And there's somebody back here. Oh. Blood everywhere. Oh, we got a few more. He's trying to get to me. He tried. I know what you're up to. I'm hip to your tricks. Rosewood map. Chef hat. So on and so forth. I think there's one more left back here. There is. You'd think there'd be a little more spices and stuff like that in these places. Yeah, the eggs are rotten too, unfortunately. Butter knife, grill brush, coffee maker. We need that. I guess we could put that on the. We could pick that up, right? Let's pick that up. Coffee Express. Yeah, we'll take that with us. All right. Yeast. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's put that coffee express in our military backpack. Along with that bourbon that I've been carrying around the, the whole episode. Some scrap electronics. Put that over there. And yeast can go in our primary backpack on our on our back. And a book. Really? Comic book and a book. Yeah. I'll take the newspaper as well. All right, very good. Let's get another drink. All right, head back out. More zombies into the area. What's this? Eat, drink, and Bloody Mary. <laughs> This will open up. Man, there's a lot of food places here. This is not where I was planning on going, but it works. All right. Guys, I'm looking here at the clock. It's probably about time to end this episode. So I'll kill these real quick here. I thought there's more than one. All right, yeah. We'll end this episode here, and the next one we'll start off here and check out a few more of these places. This is a real estate place and then a barbershop. And what's this? Electron house and a sugar fruit circus? Maybe a candy store or something? I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, we'll check these out and uh, go on from there. So I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. You all take care.